Yeah, I don't want to eat all of it because our next guest is Dr. Stephen Goldman. He's a board certified plastic and cosmetic surgeon and today he is talking about tummy tucks. Uh -oh. Now we've had him on the show before and I mean you basically you can do just about anything I think to, to change a person's life. Tummy tucks are a big one. I think it's a little bit more nerve-wracking for someone who might want to get it done and they're intimidated by the process? Yeah, so I mean, so tummy tucks are real surgery, so it's not just getting Botox or something. Mm -hmm. So there's always some recovery, but also decision-making because some patients who want a tummy tuck are excellent candidates and some patients really might be better candidates for liposuction or even for just a little bit of weight loss. So they would, I'm guessing, come in with you for an initial consultation to figure out if they're even a good candidate. Yeah, like anything. Like e even the office procedures like injectables, obviously the best place to start is a little bit of research, but then making the decision involves a discussion, a consultation, making sure that everything is done right. What I like about this guy is he doesn't go overboard with things. And we're going to show you some before and after pictures because I think some people, they come in automatically and they, they just want to look maybe too overdone and I think your work always looks very natural. Well so you know look at the housewives of wherever. You d yeah. People do, don't want to look artificial, they want to look natural, they want it to be dramatic but they natural. Look, that, that stomach so looks amazing. Tummy, tummy tucks do three things, remove excess skin, tighten the stomach muscles or the abdominal muscles and remove a little bit of fat, contour fat with liposuction at least in my hands and then you want a nice low scar on the picture that's on the right of the screen. You can't see the scar underneath regular clothing. So that means most patients who do this procedure feel comfortable in two-piece bathing suits if they want to wear a two-piece bathing suit. That's an right. absolute plus right there. All right, so that picture shows the scar, which again would be covered by a bathing suit, but it's actually curved, low, it heals very well. And there's still some stretch marks, but if you look at the belly button, if you look at the muscle contour, if you look at the hourglass, the contour is better, the skin is smoother, the muscles are tighter. So it's, wow. not just, it's not just removing loose skin, you really want to contour the whole abdominal wall. Wow. And, and I've had patients say they feel like their core is stronger after this procedure. Now if they had like a, a C-section, that's probably where their scar would be anyway, somewhere right around there, so right? If so some, if women have had C-sections, I usually remove those scars and the tummy tuck scar sits around the same place. But again, this patient who hasn't had any significant weight loss, you can see more of an hourglass shape. You can see that her belly button scar, so there's a scar around the belly button and the waistline. The belly button scar, nobody's going to notice at the beach. Mm -hmm. The waistline scar, you're not going to wear the lowest cut swimsuits, but most patients don't anyway. And then from the side, a nice, flat, concave looking belly. Wow. Now, if someone, say they lost a lot of weight, um, would you, or they're trying to lose more weight, would you wait until they have gotten yeah. to their their so, optimal weight for themselves before you would start doing a tummy tuck? That's right. So a tummy tuck is not a substitute for weight loss. Mm -hmm. The best candidates are at their ideal body weight. So they may then have loose muscle, loose skin, still some pockets of excess fat. But if they've lost the weight, then I can get them a more flat belly and more of an hourglass. What's the recovery time with something like that? So it varies a lot. We use a long-acting numbing medicine called Exparel, which takes the pain and reduces it for the first couple days. We get patients walking the night of the procedure at home. We want them walking around. Most patients will take one to two weeks off of work. I have them wait two weeks to work out. I have them wait six weeks for sit-ups. So I think most patients will say it's a significant recovery, more so than, say, a rhinoplasty, a nose surgery. But, uh, but it's, it's, it's definitely doable, and I think it's really the first three to four days where they experience the most pain. So after that, it's easier. Not too bad. And then bad. when we're looking at those before and after pictures, how long after are we seeing those after pictures? So most of those pictures were three to six months afterwards. So the scar really takes a year more to fully kind of fade. Mm -hmm. But even that one who had a fairly well faded scar I mean, was she, less than a year. That looks great. Uh, that's probably three to four months out. Uh, she she maybe. You four change months. people's lives w when you do something because I think they're so they think well I'll never get my body to look the way it was before and and in that case you know I think people. Plastic surgery can sometimes have a negative connotation, but look what All you're right, helping, so if it's done helping someone. In the appropriate way, then if you're correcting things that bother people, mm -hmm. then you generally improve their confidence and their quality of life. I prefer not to say that it's like life changing because I think changing one's life is, is internal as well as external. But Good I think for you. but I think it really can make a big difference in terms of self esteem and, and even things like physical activity may be a little bit easier after something like this. Well, check him out. He has a new location. You opened up a brand new store. It's, it's, yeah, we have so a, I almost called it a store. It is not a store by any <laughs> means. So but we have a new facility in Beechwood, so we still have our Westlake office. Um, that We're not getting rid of that, but our Beechwood office now, it's larger. We have a freestanding two-room OR and, 
and a uh, bigger spa, so it's it's a nice facility. Come He's a wonderful staff. Go yeah. and see him. Staff is great. He's such a, good, a, a nice man, too. You know that when you go to him, you're in good hands. He tried, he tried.